Hey guys, what's up? Retro Shinobi here, coming to another video. In this video, I'm going to show off the retro video game store pickups that I got, the um, uh, eBay pickups that I got, and the garage sale pickups that I got this weekend. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, let's start off with some Wii games. And these might not be the best quality of games, but they were a dollar piece and I didn't have them, so I picked them up. We have Winter Sports 3. We play. All of these are complete, by the way, and in very nice condition. Game Party. Family Game Night 2. And Arcade Gallery Shooting. Alright, now on to some GameCube games. And the majority of these I got for a couple bucks, but there's one at the end that I paid a little bit more for. So we have Dead to Rights, Burnout, and Shonen Jump's One Piece Pirate Carnival. And I ended up paying a little more for one, and I got, uh, for $20, I got Button Kaito's Origins. And this is a really cool RPG. I don't have the original Button Kaito's on GameCube, I just have the Origins, which is the prequel. So it'll be really nice to pick that up, and I'm really excited to play that. Uh, at a garage sale, I paid two dollars for two different PSP, PSP, PS2 games. Sorry about that. And um, we have God of War 2, the two disc set. It is complete with both of the discs. And the Suffering. So I got those for two dollars a piece at a garage sale. Really nice pickup. It was just ones that I didn't have, so I picked them up. Okay, moving on. Something that I just got for free is a Nintendo DSi box. It has every, all the inserts. It's really heavy. It has everything in there except for the system. So this is really nice. Um, just got it for free. Something cool to get. Okay. So, for $2, I picked up a blue Game Boy SP with no charger. I haven't tested it out yet. I'll have to see how that works. The screen's in pretty good shape. And uh, it came with a game, just cars on Game Boy Advance, nothing too special. And um, I got a red 3DS, and it's in wonderful shape as well, as you guys can see. There's no scratches on the, on the, um, on anything, on really. It doesn't really have any scratches at all. And I picked this up for thirty dollars, and it had to come with a car charger. No games, no downloaded games, no um, there wasn't a stylus in it, but still, thirty bucks is a really good deal for this. All right, so on to some Super Nintendo games. Let me look through these. Okay, so to start off, Pitfall. I don't exactly remember what I paid for all of these, but I definitely paid, I got a really good deal for all of these. We have Space Invaders, Super Bomberman 2, UN Squadron, First Samurai, Earth Defense Force, and this is just a plastic case. It's really just the game inside. Axel A, which is a really cool shooter. Definitely check this one out if you haven't already. And uh, a box and cartridge of Super Turrican. So this is really awesome. This is just the box and the cartridge there. It has the other things in it, but just not the manual. So, um... Something else that I got that I was really excited about that I ended up paying $95 for, but it's still a really awesome deal, is this. And this, if you guys don't know what it is, is the Neo Geo Pocket Color. And I got the Japanese version of it, but it, as soon as you start it up, it gets an option for you to have everything in English. So, we have the system in the box. And it's still all wrapped up and everything, but it works, and I tested it out. So that was really awesome. There is a little nick on the box, but other than that, it's in really nice condition. 
And it came with two boxed games. It came with this one, which is um, Ogre Battle Gaiden, which is really cool. I can't read any of it. It's all in Japanese. But um, it's a kind of an RPG strategic, strategic game. And uh, The Last Blade. And um, this one has the manual and everything. The game is inside of the color right now. So yeah, these were really nice, and I got a really nice deal, because this was a special bundle edition that only came out in Japan, that it came with this game and the pocket color. So that was really cool. This isn't a color that you see of the pocket color a lot, either the crystal blue. It's not something that, it's not, if you look on eBay, you'll probably find um, just the camouflage blue, camouflage, and stuff like that. But it came with this game and the Neo Geo Pocket Color, and this was just an add-on. And for $95, it is a really awesome deal. All of this stuff just for $95 is an amazing deal. And um, one last game that I got, and this is a game that I've been seeing at some gaming conventions, and I it was just always too expensive, and I didn't want to pay enough. I didn't want to pay a lot of money for it. But, and that game is Dragon Fighter. And this is complete in box. And I'll try to ever so gingerly open it. It does have everything in there the manual and everything. And the cartridge is almost, it's definitely flawless. I can't find a single scratch on here. And I got this complete in box for a hundred and twenty dollars. And if you guys don't know anything about this, the cartridge itself pretty much sells for a hundred and twenty, hundred and twenty to a hundred and thirty. But I was lucky enough to manage to get this complete in box for a hundred and twenty dollars. So this is a really awesome game. Definitely check it out if you haven't already, because this is a really awesome NES game. It's a rare game. And, as I said, it's $120 just for the cartridge. So, it's if you can find this game for a cheap price or find it and you want to get it, it's definitely worth it. It's a really awesome game. So, those are all of my pickups. But, I was going to... I got in a loot crate, so I figured I might as well just condense these two videos together. So, here's the loot crate. It came with a shirt, which is pretty cool. So there's that. There's uh, Princess Bride cards. A bow tie. Inflatable crown. A Game of Thrones flash drive, the pin, and this month was fantasy, some uh, a magnet set from Game of Thrones. This little um, thing is a nine and three fourths from Harry Potter. That's really neat. And the book that it came with, and here's what the inside of it looks like. So, um, this is kind of a new thing for me to do, showing off the loot crate in a pickup video. Let me know if you guys liked it, or if you liked it more whenever I did the videos by themselves. Because I noticed that the loot crate and arcade block videos weren't getting as much, um, like, of a following as the uh, pickups videos were. So let me know if you guys like doing this how it is, or have the video separated up. Anyways, that's all I have for this week. This is Retro Shinobi, signing out.